Let's take a look at Dovetail Drawer Cat and how very powerful the program is and simple to use. I'm going to select the library. Dovetail Drawer comes with a predefined library of Dovetail Drawers. They're totally parametric so you can change those and adjust those to meet your needs and specifications. So if we look at the Dovetail Drawers, uh, you can see we already have a predefined library ranging in uh, heights, so you can just choose a preset height, but again it is parametric so you can change the height, depth, and length of any of the dovetail drawers to your specifications. Besides coming with dovetail drawers, dovetail drawer cat also comes with a wide selection of rollout trays as well, so you can choose a wide variety of rollout trays as well with different styles, different bottom configurations, and whether you want notching for undermount drawer uh, slides and that sort of thing. But I'll go back and select just a dovetail drawer for this uh, presentation. I'm going to insert that into Dovetail Drawer CAD. Uh, material assignments, um, I'm going to switch the material assignment here to uh, half inch bottoms. So we'll have faulty birch sides, fronts and backs, but I'm going to have a half inch maple bottom uh, in, this, uh, in this setup. I'm just going to tell it OK. And now we can come in and manually enter in sizes for the dovetail drawers like the widths. So you can just come in on the fly and say my first dovetail drawer is 15 and a quarter. Uh, take the default heights and put your quantity in there and literally go from from line to line and enter a dovetail drawer order just uh, off a of pencil and piece of paper if you would. But you can also import them. So if I go import here, uh, we'll go to a dovetail drawers and I'll take a dovetail order, tell it to open that, and that will fill in all the data for you, all the dovetail drawers are already filled in for you. I'm going to select the DXF out. Uh, we'll go to parts, I'll save it here, and we'll call this uh, Johnson Dovetails. Select save. Select Save here. It will go through and process all the uh, DXFs and dovetails. You can actually see it changing the sizes here. So at this point, all the dovetail drawers have been created for you. I'm going to close this window. Uh, we're going to go to Nesting here. Nest. Move this over. Uh, I'm going to say select Import here. We'll go to the uh, Johnson order and open that. This, this is your pair gap for your nest. I'm just going to tell it OK. It's going to import all the dovetail drawer pieces here into uh, our nesting program. I'm going to tell it to nest by area. And as you can see here, it uh, the program went through and found all the half inch maple bottoms and put them on the appropriate size sheets. Uh, it found the uh, Baltic birch sides and put them on 60 by 60 sheets for you. And again, these are all user defined, so you just define what sheet size you're using for your materials and stuff like that. But different materials obviously can be on different sheet sizes, so we can accommodate that as well. Uh, so once this is done, if I want to create the G code for this, I'm just going to click on router cam, G code. This is just showing you a preview of what we're going to be uh, machining. I can close that. Uh, and I could also have deleted a uh, sheet of that if I wanted to. If I tell it to display the code, it's going to go through and machine all the backs. It's also putting a rabbit around all the backs right now. It's doing the next sheet of backs for you. And now it'll start doing the, uh, the dovetails. And if you actually zoom in, it's kind of to see on YouTube, you can actually see it cutting and machining all the uh, the dovetails. You can see the machine actually working up the uh, the sheet, and we have that optimized too, so your machine's not making a lot of wasted movements going from one to other. It'll actually work up the x and the y axis of the machine to to maximize your cutting speeds for you. And uh, this will continue to cut and do all the detailing for the dovetails. So if you really think about what's going on here, you know we're creating the the dovetails themselves, uh, creating the uh, the male and female cuts, dadoing in for the quarter inch rabbit for the 
except the, the reduced size of the bottom. And we're also we're going to run the dovetail bet. So all that is happening for you automatically. All you have to do is set the sheet on the machine, uh, pull up the program, and this is an example of the program over here on the uh, left as it's creating it for you. So it's doing a tremendous amount of work for you. All you have to do is just select the dovetails you want to create and nest those, and the machine will come in and literally cut out, size your drawer boxes, your both your sides, your front, your back, and your bottom, and give you an assembly list for that.